Good morning guys, hope you're having an amazing day. It is pink here. Today I am in Safranbolu, which is a town in northern Turkey and I'm very excited because this city has some of the best food I think you can find in all of Turkey. Part of it has to do with the fact that it's so well preserved that a lot of these restaurants have been around for generations, literally decades, maybe centuries even. The second part is the natural ingredients. So Safranbalu is very famous for helva and lokma. So we are definitely gonna go try some of those today. But uh, first, it's currently lunchtime. I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat. For lunch today, I'm very excited because we've come to a place known as Koprulu et Lokantasi and they've been around since 1923. Yes, 1923. That's almost a hundred years of history. This restaurant is almost a hundred years old. That is crazy to imagine. Now, the people there are super, super helpful, really, really friendly. And I got some dishes that are supposed to be local to Safran Balu that are unique to Safran Balu that I've never seen anywhere else in Turkey. And I've pretty much seen most of Turkey. So I'm so excited to try these out. First dish I've got is walnut noodles. Yes, who would have thought walnut and noodles mixed together so well? She was literally cracking the walnuts just now, sprinkling it on the top of the noodles. And I mean, wow, look at these noodles. Oh, oh, thank you. They just offered me free iron, which is awesome. Um, but these are the walnut noodles. The name is Sevizli Yayim Makarnasi. I'm probably butchering that up completely, but let's give this a try. That is just warm comfort food. The walnuts are so crunchy and crispy. No one would have thought that walnuts and noodles work together. The noodles are very plain. They're like rectangular shaped and they're in this like super oily, like simple soup. But wow, the, the walnuts, crazy to imagine. Walnuts and noodles. It's, it's, so, it's so unique. I've never seen this, but it tastes really, really good, really, really delicious it's a combination that worked when i saw this i knew i instantly had to get it this is literally eggs meat tomato onions it it, it sounds like heaven it looks also really really amazing it looks rustic it looks home cooked she has an entire tin of the eggs and the meat and she was just like you know what if you want one i'll cut you a piece put it in a bowl and it looks delicious i mean just look at that the meat is just on the bottom, so the eggs are on top, but then there's like a layer of meat below. It looks so, so good. I'm gonna go in and try this out. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Wow, the meat is just so flavorful. You've got onions, you've got peppers, you've got chili. Is it chili? Is it chili? Yes. Yeah. Oh, tomato, yeah, tomato, eggs, meat, onions. It's such a simple dish, but it's so rustic. I mean, the egg itself is so, so crispy. I mean, just look at it. It is fried to perfection. Oh, but the meat, that flavor, it's so, so good. It's, it, it's home cooked. It really is home cooked food. But when I taste it, I'm really thinking of right now, Filipino food. I, I know it's a very weird comparison, but this sort of feeling, I'm, I'm getting like, it almost feels like Filipino home-cooked food. I I'm getting that connection right there. I'm not sure why, but if I got this in Asia, I wouldn't be surprised at all. This is really, really similar to like Asian food. I wouldn't be surprised if I got this in the Philippines. It kind of is like seasick. That's where it is. It's kind of like seasick without the sizzling part, but that flavor, oh yeah, that is delicious. All right, next dish we have, this is a dish that you can find in most of Turkey, but I saw the big donor kebab that he had there and I, I couldn't say no. This is of course an et donor. It's just a simple donor kebab, but I mean, wow, look at that donor. I mean, it looks so, so crispy, it's so juicy. I'm just gonna go in for the meat alone first. Oh, I love the ratio of fat to meat in this. It is literally perfect. The fat, it's so charred, it's so crispy. It is, wow. I did. I, I never thought I would say this, but 
I think the best Ed Donor kebab I've ever had is in a rural village here in Saffron Bola. That is crazy to imagine. The donor meat itself, really, really tender, really, really juicy, and really, really crispy on the outside. But that juice, that fat, that is so, so good. The fat is just delicious. It fits right in. But oh my goodness, the oils are just dripping off of this. Okay, I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna put some of the meat inside the pita bread. All right, let's try this out. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That's probably the bounciest, fluffiest pita bread I have ever had. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Wow, if, I, I did not expect the foods in Saffron Bolo to be this good. But seriously, the pita bread, this is the bounciest pita bread I've ever had in my life, period. The meat itself, really, really charcoal, really, really fat. You've got that, like I said, the balance between the fat and the lean meat is perfect here. Wow. Well, it turns out that this shop here doesn't only do amazing warm food, but they do amazing desserts as well. And I've gotten something that's very unique only to Safran Bolu. It's called Safranli Zerde. And it's made from the Safran flour, which is only found here in Safran Bolu, which is also why this place is even called Safran Bolu. But I mean, just looking at it, it's like a yellow custard. Oh, I'm so excited. I've got to give this a try. Wow. Oh my goodness. So let's talk about texture first. Texture is pretty easy. It's kind of like an egg pudding custard, although it's a little bit more liquidy. It, it is actually a little bit more liquidy than a pudding or a custard. But the flavor, it's so aromatic. It tastes like flour. I mean, it makes sense. It's from the saffron flour, but it's so, so flowery. I think they even put some of like the flower petals, maybe the leaves. They put raisins inside, which is amazing to help with the texture, but the flavor, that aromatic flower taste, wow. Man, the saffron flower, it just smells so, so nice. Once again, another unique item that you can only find here in Saffron Balu. 100% recommend that place if you're in Saffron Balu. Go check them out, super, super nice locals. Really, really delicious food that you can only find here in Saffron Balu, which is crazy. I didn't know that there was like an entire food culture here that you can't find anywhere else in Turkey. But highly, highly impressed. I will see you guys when we go for dinner. Night has fallen over here in Saffron Balu and the streets are lighting up Food is ready to go and I am hungry. So now we are going to go get some food in the Saffron Balu New Town. So earlier for lunch we were at Saffron Balu Old Town, but this is the newer part of Saffron Balu. Let's go see what food they have. We've come to a place known as Pasa Donor and I mean they have this big donor that's right on the street. I couldn't resist, like, I, I knew I had to try it. But I got a durum wrap, which he said he recommends. So I'm going with the durum wrap. And then of course, some fried potatoes. I'm gonna start off with the chips. and give this a try. Mm. Nothing better than some fries here in Turkey. But of course, we gotta go in for the main dish here. This is the donor kebab. It's really, really long. I mean, look at this. My face versus the kebab. It is huge and I am so excited. He literally cuts off the chicken right off the spit and then they grill this entire thing together. Let's go and give this a try. That is delicious. The chicken, oh my goodness. That is one of the juiciest donut chickens I've ever had. I think there's a perfect combination of fat and lean meat here. Oh wow, the chicken is, chicken is really, really the star right here. It is 
it's perfectly crispy, but it's perfectly juicy on the inside. Literally, you can see the chicken juices right here as I'm biting into it. It is really, really good. I would say this is probably one of the better durum wraps I've ever had. It is really, really delicious. The durum wrap itself grilled, really, really charred, but the chicken, man, that meat, that's where the star is at. That juiciness, but at the same time, crispiness on the outside, that perfect balance between fat and lean meat. Oh yeah, they do it so well here. You can literally smell their kebabs like down the street, on the opposite side of the street. It is such a prevalent smell. And wow, I made a very good decision today because this absolutely delicious. And it's so big, I'm gonna have so many bites to enjoy in this uh, durum. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pasha Donor, Pasha Donor! Yeah. Pasha Donor, yes! Yeah. Pasha Donor! The best! Safran Bolu, best! Safran Bolu, best! Pasha Donor! Ah, yeah. Okay! Yes. <laughs> wow, that was really, really good. Friendliest people, like super, super friendly, really, really nice, really, really helpful, and I mean, just delicious goodness. Now, that's all we're gonna have for savory food today, and that's because Safran Bolu is famous for their desserts like really really famous literally the street there are more dessert shops than there are restaurants so we are gonna go do some dessert hopping here in Safran Bolu and I'm excited because the expectation I have really really high it's supposed to be phenomenal here so let's go get our Turkish sweets on thank you the Turkish delight uh, lok lokum. Lokum, lokum. Lokum. Okay, Turkish lokum. Okay, this is what Safran Bolu is famous for, right? Lo lokum. Oh, coconut. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So soft and chewy. Um, that is. Oh, that's delicious. It's a coconut flavor. It's almost like tropical. Safran. 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 Mmm. Oh. Oh, you can definitely taste the saffron flavor in that one. Um, saffron. Mm. Oh wow, that is very strong saffron flavor. Wow, they have so many different flavors. I didn't know. I thought they only had one type, like just lookum. I didn't know they had so many different types. That is incredible. That is really, really cool. What is this one? Fist oh, fist stick. Oh, nuts. Nuts. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, you can definitely taste there's a nut inside. Fist stick. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ante Pistik. Wow. That is very, very good. There's a bunch of baklava, like a lot of baklava here. And I have no clue which one to choose. So I'm going to ask him whether he can help me make some decisions. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Fish steak, this one? Yeviz. Cheviz. Yeviz there. Yeviz. Oh, this one also Yeviz. Oh. Let's go with this one. First dessert stop for the day. We've come to a place known as Murat. Now, Murat is a bakery, but they have a lot of things. So, so Safran Balu is famous for two things, lokum and helva. So lokum is what we had just now. Those are the Turkish delights. They're the really nice, soft, chewy ones. and. Until now, I didn't realize that there were so many different types of lokum here in Safran Bolu. Now the second thing is helva, which we've had before helva on top of dondurma, which is ice cream. But I don't think they seem to serve that around here. Rather, they serve packaged versions of helva. So what you can do is you can buy the helva, then you take it home, then you can put it on ice cream if that's something you want to do. But we just tried the Turkish delights, as you guys saw, and wow, that was delicious. That was the absolute best experience ever but now 
we've got to go in for some baklava and of course some Turkish tea on a decently I mean it is a colder night than other nights here in Turkey because we are up in the mountains so the temperature difference is definitely noticeable right now I'm just pouring some uh, sugar into my tea got to mix it up oh I'm so excited I love Turkish tea all right let's go ahead and give this a try Just, just, ah. Best drink in the world. Seriously, after any meal, best drink in the world. Let's get to the main event here. This is baklava. I got two types. I got one that's like smaller diamond shape and another one that's a triangular shaped one. Let's first go in with the triangular shaped one. Oh my, oh my god. I don't know what they're doing here, but this might just be the best baklava I've had. Outside of the hazelnut and milk ones, if you guys watch my previous videos, you'll know I love hazelnut and milk, but outside of that, this might be the best one. The, the, the pastry, it is so good. That Usually when you have baklava, the pastry is already soaked in so much of the syrup sauce that yes, it's still a bit of crispiness, but it's more wet than it is crispy. This, it retains that crispiness so, so well. Yet at the same time, it's able to absorb all that sweetness from the syrup. Compared to other baklavas I've had, it's not as oily. When I usually cut into other baklavas, just oil just like explodes everywhere. Here, when I just cut into it, there wasn't really that much oil, which, wow, that is really, really good. Maybe it's good for the uh, health conscious eater out there. A diamond shaped one as well. And if I'm correct, I think it's also um, walnuts. Not pistachios, walnuts. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. Same comments as earlier. The pastry, really, really good. I don't know what they're doing with the pastry, but the pastry is just really nice and light. I will say though, the pastry on the, the what is this? This is, this, is a, this is a diamond, right? The diamond shaped one, not as good as one at the triangle shape one. The triangle shape one was a little bit airy. It was lighter, I almost feel like. Here, not as airy, but wow, still so, so good. Yeah, what I'm telling you, this place, the baklava, top notch quality. Really some of the best I've had. The pastry is what really sets it apart. I don't know what they're doing with the pastry. I don't know why it's, for some reason, feels less oily, but definitely exceptional baklava. That was absolutely delicious. Seriously, that baklava, I don't know, maybe I haven't had baklava in a long time. I, I don't think so, but that pastry, the pastry was out of this world good. Really some of the best baklava pastry I've really ever had. The lokum is obviously delicious there as well. But um, of course, that's just our first stop for our dessert tour today. Let's go find more desserts to try. Next stop, we have come to a place known as Pastane Alisa, and they're literally just like right off the main road. And I'm very excited because we got two things that I've never tried before. This one is, uh, sh I'll put them on the screen because there's no way I'm gonna be able to tell you. One of them, I'm just gonna call it by the English name. One's a chocolate mousse, one's a Turkish cookie. The actual Turkish names, I will type out for you guys at the bottom, but um, they look absolutely amazing but of course as always when i have some dessert i need some turkish tea all right chai is ready let's try it out oh, yes nothing gets better than that okay let's try the first one out this one is a uh shikir something it's it's a turkish cookie I, i'll put it down in the description for you guys but wow i mean it actually is kind of hard to cut through but it's really really sticky and my first impressions let's go ahead and try this out oh oh my god that is so so good the outside as you can tell it's actually got a bit of crispiness i don't know how they got the crispiness there but they probably baked it and then it was super crispy it's actually really really sticky it's it's like a hard to bite through sort of situation down there but it's also very very crumbly as you can probably tell just by cutting through it there's 
pistachios on the top, which I absolutely love. But it's a really sticky, sort of uh, crumbly cookie. It's, I think it's made of semolina because I've had this something similar to this before and you know, I, was, I was told it was made by semolina but wow this is really really good. Highly recommend that is very very good. Next up we have I'm gonna call it a chocolate mousse. I will put the Turkish name down below but as you can see it's topped off with coconut and pistachios which that's incredible to me because coconut and pistachios who would have thought that would be a combination but Let's go ahead and try this chocolate mousse out. Oh, that is so smooth. Okay, I would say that it's not really a mousse. It's more like a pudding slash custard sort of situation, but it's also really liquidy. So it's really, really nice and sticky, gooey, but at the same time, it's got that thick, gooey chocolate taste to it. Wow. Yeah, I would say that Yes, chocolate mousse is the closest thing you can compare it to, but it's much more liquidy than a mousse. I would say it's more like a chocolate liquid pudding, if anything. But of course, the coconut, the pistachios, great flavor on top to the chocolate. Wow, never thought that those two would come together and make chocolate so delicious, but wow, I am proven wrong again today. Man, these desserts, absolutely delicious. And like I said, there are literally more dessert shops here than there are restaurants because Saffron Bolu, they've got their dessert game down, okay? And these desserts right here prove how good they can do their desserts here in Saffron Bolu. Absolutely delicious. All right, anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. That has been a very delicious day trying local Saffron Bolu foods. Foods that you're not gonna find anywhere else in Turkey. I haven't seen any of these foods outside of Saffron Bolu, so it was quite the culinary experience today. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. I'm so excited to share more of Turkey with you guys in the upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when the next video is coming up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.